Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hemet, and I'm glad you joined me this morning. Um, I want to talk about giving thanks. This morning I sent off a prayer request for a child in our church, and I was thinking I'm supposed to let my requests be uh, made known with thanksgiving. And so I sent a follow-up text giving thanks to God for listening to my prayer request. I was thinking, the first one, I just asked God to do something, and I wasn't being very uh, gracious by failing to thank him for listening. I want to talk about giving thanks, and I'm going to use an example of King David. The Bible says in 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 16, Then King David went in and sat before the Lord, and he said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that you have brought me this far? David was approaching God with great humility, and he was approaching him with prayer in a respectful manner, and he was basically expressing his thanksgiving to God. He was actually really going more than that. He was just saying, you know, I don't deserve all that you've done for me and who you are to me, God. So like David, we too should acknowledge the faithfulness of God to us. Are there ever times when you just stop and you realize, you know what, God's really been good to me. I got a promotion or I was able to pay my utility bills or we were able to buy groceries this week or I got a good report from the doctor or they were able to fix my car for a little less than I thought or, or I didn't have to replace my shoes this month. They're wearing a little bit longer than, than I thought they would. There's so many ways, if you stop and think, that we get, need to give thanks to God and to others who help us. The truth is, we deserve nothing from God. But the Lord has chosen you, and he's chosen me, to have a relationship with him. Just for that, we should give thanks to God. But there's more. He has put us into a position, seated with Christ, in heavenly places. You can read that in Ephesians chapter 2. We are his special people. We are set apart for him. We are bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We have a lot of big reasons to give thanks to God. So David breaks out with thanks to God and he begins to review his blessings and the promises that God's made to him. We ought to do the same thing. You know, when you're reading the Bible and it's about someone else, stop and think, how does that apply to me? Am I in that place and do I need to give thanks the way they are? So when we rehearse and review the Lord's gracious treatment with us and thanking him for bringing us this far, that pleases God and it builds us up. I want you to stop and think. Sometimes we think about ourselves so much, we forget about God's feelings. I was thinking the whole time, he's loved you before you were ever born. He's known you, he has numbered your days. He sent his son to die for you. He has good plans for you. He wants you to know him and talk to him on a regular basis. I'd just like to have a kid that you gave everything to and uh, never talks to you too busy to talk to you, always walks out the door, you give them another blessing and they don't even say thanks, they just grab it and go. And I think sometimes we're grab it and go Christians. I think we need to appropriate and consider the wonderful things that God has done for us, where he's taken us, the way he's treated us, the way he's been long suffering with us, Today, why don't you just stop and pray and give thanks to God for who he is, for his promises, for the word of God, the Bible, for being willing to love you and to forgive you and me the way he does. Will you do it? God bless you.